All right, another video from the coffee shop. Uh, maybe you can hear this ridiculous music in the background. This video is going to cover the hip bone. All right, let's uh, quickly identify the three main components of the hip bone. We'll start with the ilium. The pubis is going to be anterior. That section right there. Yeah, that's uh, the Sunday morning. Uh, the superior view. Uh, and then the ischium. It's going to be the inferior most part of the hip bone. And that C H I is pronounced key. Ischium. Yeah, what you do. I'll start with some of the uh, surfaces and parts. The iliac crest to be our surface at the very top here. Let's see if we can highlight it for you. Iliac crest. So that's going to run along the, end, um, the interior length of. It's, a, it's a, okay. So it's a ilium at the top. It's pretty much the entire magenta surface there. So, iliac crest. Now, the A S I S. Do not write that on the quiz. You're gonna have to spell that whole thing out. That is the anterior superior. Right here. Iliac spine. So, remember those directions anterior, facing front, superior, towards the top, iliac, part of the iliac bone, or the ilium, uh, and the spine. So that's going to be in magenta right there. And that's pretty much going to be uh, anterior, and kind of at the terminal end of the iliac crest. So that's our anterior superior iliac spine. You should probably imagine there's a uh, inferior iliac spine, but we do not have that as a term. We do have the posterior superior iliac spine, so we're going to go to the posterior aspect. We're going to go to the very end of the iliac crest, and it's that region right there right before this kind of notch. That is our posterior superior iliac spine. And remember to spell those out completely on the quiz. Do not just write A-S-I-S. -S. Get the greater sciatic notch. So if we look at our hip bone from a lateral view, so here's lateral, this is anterior, this is posterior. These two large notches are um, these next terms. So the greater sciatic notch is going to be right in there. Greater sciatic notch of the ilium. And the lesser sciatic notch of the ilium. Let's look at this from a posterior aspect. So that's our lesser sciatic notch, greater sciatic notch. Here's a medial view. Anterior view, can't see it. Lateral view, greater, lesser sciatic notches. Right, now let's look at the pubis. Here's our pubis. The pubic synthesis, we're gonna Let's get rid of a couple of these ligaments. There's our pubic synthesis. It's the pubic synthesis area. This listed as the uh, interpubic disc. The obturator foramen, remember foramen, 
our openings. Holes. There we go. Nice and large. Obturator for Raymond. Oops. Cubic tubercle is going to be. Let's see. Yeah. Be this tip right here. So if you're looking at this from an interior perspective, um, remember tubercles are kind of raised, rounder areas that are kind of rough where um, ligaments or muscles will insert. So it's right there, that little kind of pointy tubercle on the pubis, is our pubic tubercle. Now the ischium. And the ischial tuberosity. And that's going to be a larger surface. So here's our anterior view. You can see it kind of run along there. Um, posterior view. Let's go inferior. It's probably our best view. So here's our inferior aspect. Anterior is here, posterior is here, and this is our ischial tuberosity. The acetabulum is going to be this entire area in here. Where the femur will articulate. It's our acetabulum. The auricular, not articular, but auricular surface of the ilium is going to be on this medial aspect right there, and that's where the sacrum will articulate with the ilium. So here's a medial aspect, anterior is here, posterior is here, medial aspect, auricular surface. Tubercle of the iliac, uh, iliac crest. So let's go back to our iliac crest. And that tubercle right in there. Raised kind of bumpy surface on the lateral aspect, right? Don't get confused with that there. It's going to be on the lateral aspect of the iliac crest. That's our iliac tubercle. Sure to write that as the tubercle of the iliac crest. The ischial ramus. Here listed as ramus of the ischium. Now we just go with uh, whatever we have written on our sheets. So this is going to be the ischial ramus. Did he fix it? Here's a, an anterior view. The ramus of the ischium. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you if, uh, if I die, then you know... Superior cool. pubic ramus, so superior, well, now we're going to the top, we know this is the pubis. <coughs> superior pubic ramus. Inferior pubic ramus will be just below. very last term is going to be the ischial spine, which is going to be this uh, protuberance there. That is going to be between, here's a lateral view, it's going to be between the greater sciatic notch and the lesser sciatic notch. So this in the magenta is the ischial spine.